All right, what's up guys? We are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. There is a lot to talk about this week, so let's dive right in. Guys, if you get any value from this video, every single Friday, what I do is I record this as kind of like a recap for the week, what's going on, what we're, you know, kind of talking points, what we're hitting on, what were the members doing, and it was a fun week, and let's literally dive right in. So first things first, guys, I wanted to just kind of note on Monday, um, Alex posted this. We did. We have a podcast at MIC, so After Hours Podcast, and what's cool is we are expanding our reach into some of the bigger traders and you know that are outside of MIC, whether you know we have a lot of big traders inside MIC. That's not what I'm talking about here. That's actually irrelevant. We're expanding our reach to other communities and other people and traders that are you know prominent in this industry besides anybody in MIC. So it's really cool, guys. We're just kind of leading the helm on you know, recruiting all this great information for you guys. So we're getting that out there. And one of the most recent episodes was Steven Ducks. Obviously the man really needs no introduction, but if you don't know who he is, you got to check him out and um, definitely check out this podcast. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, this is a trader who literally guys to think of how big of a whale he is, $13 million in three days. I think he's made like, I think like $6 million in like one day. So the kid's a whale, so he was fun to interview, you know, through the After Hours podcast and get that content out there for you guys, and there's a lot of talent outside of MIC, there's so much talent inside MIC, and we are just, you know, honored and respecting all of it, and want MIC to be a home for everybody, even, you know, people that have different talents than us, or different play styles, and, you know, we are all after the same goal, and that is making money every single day in the markets, guys, to the best of our abilities, and uh, again, just being, you know, 1% better than we were yesterday and not comparing ourselves to others. So this was super cool, super fun. Definitely check it out. Kind of wanted to plug that real quick, but let's dive in. So, all right. So Alex was, uh, dude, he came in swinging this week and swinging a miss on Monday. And Alex lost on G sit long today, 10,700. So 10, uh, I'm sorry, 10,750. Totally tongue tied from all the uh, duck stock, but Ten thousand seven hundred and fifty-one dollar loss, guys. Um, again, not every day is gonna be a winner, but on the scheme of things, Alex, this is a speed bump for him. This is like a small pebble because the next day he came in with a thirty-two thousand dollar day, which I'll get to in a second. Now I don't have many charts this week, and I do want to keep this video short. But let's see what the members were doing on Monday. So I really want to shout out one of our um, one of our members, Travers, this week, is because he's caught some really, really, really good trenders, and he's really good at the long side, cutting when he's wrong immediately, and then riding trend up if he is right. So Travers, really nice win on GSIT. I love this. Again, this is a highlight reel of all some of the best plays. Fabian on Wisa. I love this. You know, outer lines, then hitting the channel where the stock fell before, cushioning yourself the whole way. Really, really nice job, Fabian. Um, Steve on ORMP, waiting for the breakdown under VWAP. I love his use of trend lines, guys. He's always just, you know, like seeing what the trend is doing. Lower highs, higher lows. Trend is your friend, guys. Trend, I, I'll not. I can't say that enough. And while it's a little bit more true in big caps, trend is your friend in everything, guys. So it's just any any time I have ever traded with somebody in the past eight years, and whether they're new or whether they're veteran status, and they're a contrarian through and through, and they just kind of want to do the opposite of what you know the stock is telling them. I mean, they always get smoked, and like a lot of these guys can make a lot of money doing that. But it's a very stressful style. So you know, at MIC guys, one of our things is trend is your friend, man. Trend is your friend. So math super super consistent still i love this guy's process it's so similar to mine in small caps when i'm trading small caps and math is just literally waiting for outer lines or not doing anything i love that the discipline is off the charts alex on tuesday thirty-two thousand on g sit so he you know guys he loses nearly eleven thousand dollars on monday comes in with a thirty-two thousand dollar win on you know tuesday obviously basically tripling his loss alex is the king of bouncing back so really nice job g sit was so much easier today as backside hit earnings at close today stock turned into a sell the new setup running a personal error now we'll share chart at close but plan um plan was in the watch list guys and i really want to kind of harp on that as every single day alex is look guys multi seven figure year trader alex tamiz i can't say this enough every single week has a detailed curated watch list every single day in the watch list channel where you can literally at the very minimum follow 
but we don't want you following blindly, guys, as we want you eventually being able to do this yourself. So use it as a guideline. But hey, if you have to follow, the lines are there. The watch list is there. It's very simple to understand. It's very straightforward. We know the exact lines we're interested in. We know the exact plan. And the members crush it because of that. So I feel like I have to scream at this computer. But Marvin, following the watch list, making money. You know, members following the watch list, making money every single day. Again, Travers, I got to shout you out. I'm talking really fast like a... Like a freaking you know speed runner but um yeah guys i definitely want to get through this um but check this out so this was a awesome 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 cut re-attack travers is the king of that tight risk when it's not right and then um tight risk and long patience on the hold when it is right so hooper x wonderful job in the parabolic very well handled on something that's a little bit more front side and diego on m <laughs> m i c m i c s and APLD two for two, brother, two for two. What beautiful patience on MICS and APLD. What a beautiful representation of front side shorts require front side covers. My man, that is freaking textbook backside and front side process of how to scalp both. Really, really good job, buddy. Um, $8,800 guys on Wednesday for Alex had a great short this morning on GDC in the 770s added on the fail near 750 and covered sub seven wanted to be patient for a move lower but ended up rebounding so took it off and moved on $8,800 let's see what the members were doing uh, one sec. Let me make this bigger for you guys. I don't want you squinting as much as I'm squinting, but I love this. Marvin Zella stock fails right before, right here, right before this. He's waiting for outer lines with a stock fail before. That is process 101. I really like what Rockman did on here. He saw the stuff. He got in. Uh, no, I'm sorry. He. I think he actually started with a long here. And then he went short and then he went long. So I'm actually a little confused on this, but I'm assuming... You know what? I'm a little actually confused on this, but it looks pretty good. It looks like he nailed it. Um, I, I guess like, so this must be a long and a sell. And then he probably overclocked it for a, <laughs> for now a short, covered the short going back, covered the short in here and then longed it again. And then, so I, that's what I think is happening, but it looks pretty good, bro. I got to shout you out. Uh, Steven G sit beautiful, beautiful. Oh man, just dude, it doesn't get much better than that. Right in the red to green line, fail, boom, add cushion, wait for lower, sexy. Steve again, APLD channel scalps. You guys are just, you guys are getting it, man. You guys are becoming MIC assassins. I want it, I don't usually showcase the moderators as I feel they don't need any praise. But what's cool about this, and I love seeing this, is James is a really good trader, guys. He's one of our top moderators. And just because you fail on the first trade does not mean you can't hammer it and reattack professionally. So I kind of just wanted to put that so everybody could see the importance of, you know, taking it on the chin sometimes, taking an L and then coming back and then like jab, 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 knockout punch on the backside. So don't fret, guys, if the opportunity is still there and you kind of fall on your face on the first trade of the day or maybe the second. If the edge is there, bring the hammer, but only if the edge is there and you don't want to force and you don't want to revenge. 9,200 on Thursdays, yester uh, yesterday, guys, solid stock selection on Zella today, shorted into resistance and covered into the wash red, stopped out for the rest when it couldn't stay red. In hindsight, I should have reshored the bounce towards eight ninety two hundred dollars I love when I love when Alex pulls like a $10,000 a day out and then like complains I should have. Well, most people are like, $10,000 in one trade, are you kidding me? That's life-changing money. And it's funny too because... For someone like Alex, who's had like seven hundred thousand dollar days and two hundred thousand dollar days and three hundred and one hundred thousand, you know, ten thousand dollars barely gets him out of bed. But it is funny to have him complain on such a um, economically good day. So you know, monetarily speaking, so it's just super funny to still see that. It always cracks me up. And most people would kill for a bad ten thousand dollar day. Uh, guys, check this out. A limb. I love this stuff. Move right here transitions and evolves into a death candle on elevated volume. This is Alex's specialty. Uh, visual representation of a death candle signal is when I size in. I am pissed because I was deer in the headlights, but a lesson to share for you guys. So that's about as sexy as it gets for a sentiment change, guys. I do actually have a couple trades um, or charts from Alex on Thursdays. The first one is um, WLGS 
And what's cool is that was uh, that was this day right here. Is Alex was hammering this, you know, right in a VWAP, guys. That's exactly where you should be. As this is a long journey right back to outer lines where it fell before, and really, really clean near the 220 level. Um, let's pull up a limb or a limb, whatever you want to call it. Bunch of dialects for all these freaking stocks. Uh, and, and this was just super clean guys, super clean, like this big stuff move. I mean, on the elevated volume right there. So that's what Alex was talking about earlier, guys. The, the, these are the times where you want to really get into, especially in the morning. And I mean, there's just, again, guys, again, this is why MIC process is so clear. This is the stuff that we avoid. This is the stuff that we hammer based on time-based trading first hour of the morning and coming into right before, during, or right after reversal hour i mean there's a there's a method to our madness guys if you're not getting it by now it, it I, I just don't understand how you're not getting it but i am scream at you every week how this is day-based trading this is time-based trading this is right where the stock fell before here's the channel here's the outer line here's the death candle here's the stuff how to read the volume how to avoid the chop how to you know avoid the times where you get squeezed the times where you get dumped on like like guys we have literally I'm, I'm going to spell this out for you. We have mastered process. We have literally packaged process of price action and day trading small caps in this tight little gift wrapped present Christmas box with tinsel and cinnamon sticks and beautiful bows and wrapping and it's shiny it's got perfume all over it and we're giving it to you and a lot of people look at the box and think but there could be shit in the box and we're like no dude there's gold in the box i don't know hopefully some of you guys laugh at that as much as i do but we like are you guys starting to see yet how unbelievably strategic our process is and how unbelievably precise you can execute on it and how much it's helping the members and actually making people profitable like guys i feel like i'm taking crazy pills for guys that call me up and they're like i don't know tosh what separates you guys from another community i've been burned out there i'm like have you read our testimonials have you seen one freaking webinar have you seen any of us especially me on wednesdays because it's a free public webinar even for non-members discuss all of this stuff from time-based trading to day-based trading to zombie hour to reversal hour to chop to channel trading to outer lines to stuffs to death candles to elevated volume stuffs to the VWAP million dollar strategy to day twos and low-hanging fruit to slaughtering piggies based on XYZ and ABC and having good risk management and good R&R &R with outer lines based on good executions and once you have a good entry trading is super simple and so much easier and you take all the emotion out and I know it sounds like I'm on coke right now and speed, which I'm totally not, but guys, I'm passionate and I don't understand how many more ways I can say it. We have literally mastered fucking process. I, I, I hope I just proved it to you with that three minute rant of how much we've mastered process. And if you have not joined MIC, you are literally stinting your career as a trader, building bad habits, or giving your money to schmucks who have no idea what they're talking about at other places. So I'm coming in a little hot, a little aggressive, but sometimes I just got to put it out there in a little bit of tough love. The reason why MIC members are crushing it every single week, reading the watch list in the morning, taking it to the live text commentary chat, watching the video library on their off time, getting on phone calls with moderators, one-on-one -on -one coaching, literally, and then if you're not even a member, being able to get on the phone with one of the three creators and founders of MIC, me, Tosh Bradley, literally, Alex and I built this community six months before it was ever put out there to the public. Guys, we know a thing or two. Hit us up. <laughs> Hit us up. So that's my rant, guys. I just had to make that fun. I had to get that off my chest for all the naysayers out there. But as you guys can see, Alex was smoking a limb in the morning. Absolutely beautiful process. But again, again, it's more about how the members are doing. So let's take a look. So Dan... I'm like crazy. I, you know, I took a long nap today, guys, so I'm like crazy energy. I'm like totally hyped up at the, at 9.35 my time. Great, I'm not going to sleep tonight. But Dan, dude, hitting the watch list, hitting the channel. Where'd the stock fail before? Of course you're going to be right there. Stuff move, boom, hit it, cushion, hit it again if you need to after. Process, process, process. 
Hooper X, stock fell before, right there, a limb, right off the watch list, guys. Right off the watches. Oh, and Law, what a shock. Right off the watches. A limb, outer lines, cushion, right at outer lines again, and then right at outer lines again once he's double cushion. Hold for a fade. Solid, sexy, doesn't get better than that. And Steve Onzella, outer lines. I love it, bro. He's do Steve's doing a really good job. I want to shout out Steve as well as Travers this week. Rockmon, wait, he's so good at top ticking these parabolics, guys. Cushioning himself, hitting the parabolic again, and then once it breaks VWAP, he's actually still rides a position. It's actually, you know, Rockmon's got a little bit of a reverse Travers going on with the shorts versus the long setups that Travers usually does. So he's always holding a piece for lower, like Travers is holding a piece for higher. It's just piecemealing out of your positions, guys, at least 10 or 20%, you know, for that big, big kind of like lottery ticket move or, um, you know, that really exponential growth that you want within the trade whether it's short or long I, I, I I'm always an advocate of that I, I'm like dude if you made all your money and you want to wrap up and like literally go to the gym in the morning because you trade an hour a day like that's admirable 100% you can absolutely do that but sometimes it's always good to just ride that 10% for break even or a much bigger return so and it's fun you know it adds look it adds to your ego a little bit it adds to your confidence but you're not risking much to do so and that's the key so you can build ego you can build confidence whatever you want to build uh pretty much just confidence ego is always pretty bad but you're not risking nearly anything to do so and i like that a lot the the r and r is just really much in your favor there's a big roi there um not just monetarily speaking but confidence which eventually leads to more monetary um gains so i think it's a win-win 2.9k for Alex Day, guys. Annoying day. Friday, traps everywhere. Tough to be patient, make money. Solid scalps on E, N, V, B, and LSDI. G sit wanted to be patient after after it went red and grinded me all the way back to a stop. Very tough market for patience, traps everywhere. I'm sure Alex would have like tripled this at least today. But um, yeah, I mean he did it, he did a pretty good job. So nearly three thousand there. Let's see what the members were doing. Let me pull this up for you guys. Squinty, squinty, and now not so much. <laughs> uh, Dan Dan Hudson, LSDI, beautiful case of outer lines. Nothing needs to be said about that. Tom, my man Tom. Let's see. g -sit, stuff move. Hit the pop. Cushion and cover. Hit right where the stock fell before. Top tick. And then once it stuffs, hammers again. Double cushion. And he missed this, which is okay, that red move. But it's all good. Tom, that is a picture perfect trade brother i'm telling you that is so good and travers my man tried cut it got in again cut it got in a third time smoked it dude 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 it's so good it's such good process oh my god it's like you know what it is it's like splinter splinter chainsaw hack <laughs> like dude it's like it's like don't don't fade travers don't fade travers yeah you really shouldn't have faded travers <laughs> uh hooper hooper x on g sit guys beautiful case of wait for the stuff wait for the top hit these pops cover it or i'm sorry hit it um and then he actually covered out for a loss right here but he was super confident right here the death candle came he added and uh just re again guys just because you lose in the first one or two trades does not mean you lose your confidence to hammer when it's there again soy sauce on bioc dude that is a mona lisa picture right there beautiful beautiful job buddy um guys yeah so i know i could rant on this all night but check this out i'll just give you a quick breakdown so every single day this is our slack community we have a watch list channel and within that watch list channel like you see on monday the 15th here these are the lines these are the levels can you copy this exactly yes but as i said before it's good to use as a guide and understand why you're hitting these lines or why alex likes these lines again if alex made nine million dollars in the last four years what are you gonna fade alex and be like nah nah I'll come up with my own lines. Dude, it, I, uh, <laughs> like, why? So the point is, guys, use this as a guide. Um, but this is the guide every single day. And then you take it to the main trading chat in the small cap realm and apply what you learned in the watch list. Then you take it to the large cap and options room. If you're not a small cap trader and do the same here, but with big caps, with the big cap watch list and the big cap players. And then we have a swing trading room, guys. We have an after hours channel. Our freaking community is so much fun. Dude, beautiful weather. I guess I'll be fishing all night. Bam, that looks awesome. Um, guys, sharing the nice guy. Here's the ducks, you know, 
uh, podcast that we did, Stephen Duck's advice on stress and bad trades, making $13 million in three days. Like, guys, we've got monsters here. Stephen trading with a member, I, you know, I think in London. Yeah, D deny, us, Denius. <laughs> I, I'm probably butching that. In London today. Um, it's just super fun, guys. This is what the community is all about, man. You have 2,000 plus members to network and literally have fun and learn with and go to our boot camps. It's a really, really good time. Meetups. Um, uh, Steven's hosting a meetup tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, which is the 20th. Yeah. So, guys, if you're around, go to that. Um, if you want to get a look inside MIC, go meet some actual traders from MIC and actual real life moderators in person. So it's just super fun, guys. That's our community. And then a couple things on the website is if you guys have any immediate questions, text my line 213-458-5997. But guys, book a call. So this is going to be your best way to get a hold of me, get all the information you need, literally fill out this form, get a actually booked call, and uh, we'll talk one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm not going to be as crazy energy as I am during this webinar because I'm hyped the F up. And I um, and I pretty much just got done with like a two, three-hour nap. So I'm screwed for sleep tonight, but it's all good. Guys, click that link right there. It takes you to a landing page. Watch one-hour free training. Watch this free course right now. Name, email, boom. You're going to get a full training if you're not a member. See what we're all about. Um, and here's the thing. 99% of the time when you hear something that's too good to be true, like this 27-year-old kid made $9 million in the last week. You know what, guys? 99% of the time, that is bullshit. This is that 1% of the time where it's literally going to sound... I'm going to warn you now. It is literally going to be sound too good to be true. There's going to be a lot of people that watch this webinar and be like, I don't know, man. There's no way. There's no way. Dude, I'm telling you. Vet us. Vet us. How do you vet us? Number one, look at the testimonials. Number two, Alex, who you're going to see in this webinar right here, this one hour free training, who's talking about all this money he made. It's all broker verified without pumping and dumping because he barely longs. So he's not creating fake liquidity like 99% of the other scumbags out there, which, which are too good to be true. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you need to literally call the broker, the, the, the FDIC insured USA brokers that Alex and Bao use, guys, call them. I'm saying that 99% of the time, things are too good to be true with, with stats like this and results like this. We are that 1% that's cleaning up this industry. And if you have to vet us, there's no better way than reading our testimonials, what the members are saying, literally. I don't know if you guys know, but it's literally illegal. You can get thrown in jail for creating false testimonials. You think we're going to take that risk? No effing chance in hell. We're a business and we're an ethical business. All of these are non-paid, non-screened, pre-screened. These are members who shared their journeys organically. And we posted their reviews. And there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of them. Look at, look at this. One member making $268,000 on that trade right there because of MIC's teachings. Guys, everything we do is as professional as you could ever imagine. We're making MIC bigger. We're making it better. We're going to streamline this process even more efficiently. We're going to fix the onboarding even better soon. We're bringing AI in all. You have no idea how passionate we are about our company and what we're creating and what we've done for the last five years. And that's why I wanted to prep you. Like, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. It's not in this case. It's exactly the way we market our company with exact results. So last things last, I just kind of want to, I, I know I'm kind of rambling on here. I just want to, I'm just so passionate about showing you guys what we offer because we're legitimately changing lives and we're doing it in the coolest way possible where people actually become self-sufficient traders, no pump and dumping, no fake liquidity, none of that bullshit, all real trading, real mentorship. But unfortunately, we're not the biggest thing on the internet because mentorship is boring to people. People do want get rich quick, which we're not. People do want pump and dumps, which we're not. So, you know, if you guys Google in YouTube, hey, how do you get a Lambo? You'll have 100 million views on that video. But if you Google Warren, how did Warren Buffett make his fortune from A to Z? It'll get 20,000 views. Welcome to the world. Everybody wants get rich quick bullshit. 
We are not that. We are going to make you a trader who can do this the rest of your life. If you give us six months to a year, what we're going to do is we're going to take you from A to Z, confident by the end of six months, extremely confident by the end of the year or your annual mentorship, whether you decide to stay or not. We hope you do. But you guys are going to have a skill set you can apply the rest of your lives as long as the Earth is still intact, as long as an asteroid hasn't destroyed you know, Mother Earth. And as long as the stock market is still up and running, guys, we trade human psychology. It's never going out of style. It's, it's not even cyclical. It's always around. Patterns are cyclical. What we teach in process is literally evergreen. It's future proof. It doesn't stop. It will never stop because one advantage that the longs have versus the shorts and one advantage, which is called an edge, AKA an edge, the short has that the longs are, you know, in a point of this, um, um, it's just, it's just stupidity guys. It's just, look, when the longs have an edge, they know that the shorts got clumsy and stupid. And when the shorts have an edge, they know that the longs got clumsy and stupid, vice versa. We take advantage of that minute stupidity in micro and macro trends with lines and the patterns that we teach. There are proprietary trading strategies at MIC. You cannot sleep on this. We are teaching life-changing advice. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the video library. So between thousands of videos in here, you can search whatever you want. How do you deal with FOMO? How do you deal with this? How do you deal with a revenge train? We have videos on it. Scroll down, we have a full roadmap of how to get started from the accelerator course to the curriculum to phase study guide of all of our concentrated materials so you don't have to watch a thousand videos. Then if you scroll down all the way, what you're gonna see is Alex's live trades where Alex just released five new ones, $9,000 loss right here, real-time live trading, uh, $5,500 gain, 1.4 gain, $900 death candle, $2,500. He's got $200,000 trades on screen. Guys, Alex will record his screen live whether it's a loss or a win and teach usually a win not knowing Alex he'll teach you by showing you his exact screen the time recording then add audio commentary after the fact so you guys can actually understand what you're seeing on the screen but guys real live trades this is exclusive to lifetime members only this is the only extra perk that is like really like you got to be a lifetime member other than just the point of reference as a time-based account so like you know, a six month tier or an annual tier or a lifetime tier, guys, those are our three tiers. Um, you know, it's basically predicated on how long you want to be inside MIC. That's what that's on. But this is that one feature we gave to lifetime members, one of two features that we we want lifetimes to have that extra oomph and to get that that added perk, kind of like the cherry on top. And that's what this is. So if you want to go to lifetime or you want to upgrade to lifetime to get access to this, literally just text my line, book a call or DM me in Slack chat. I'm T Bradley 90. This is my icon right here. You guys can find me easily. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much our website, guys. That is our Slack community. That's the tutorial for the week. Um, last things last is just per tradition. Uh, let's just tally up all Alex's wins. I'll go from Friday down because he took a loss on Monday. 2,900 plus 9,200. Uh, basically negating Monday already. Uh, 8,800 plus 32,000. That's 52,900 minus, uh, we'll just say 11,000. Oh, oops, I just did 10. Uh, okay, then I'll just do another 700, so minus 700. That was just a misclick. Guys, $42,000 a week. Alex made $42,000 plus this week, and that's not even including rebates with Success Trader, his main broker of choice. Um, so I, I would assume this is probably about a $46,000 a week, guys, maybe even 50,000. So, you know, this is what we teach guys every single week nothing about this is get rich quick. None of it is BS marketing. This is real. This is, if you want a career in the stock market, there's no better place teaching you how to lay a foundation brick by brick. So you guys can do this, not just for a couple months, not just for a couple years. This is not like opening up an Amazon FBA, you know, store or a Shopify store where that could be dead tomorrow, guys. This is not a current trend. This has worked for 20 years. The creator of MIC, you know, one of three creators, Dow Modern Rock, aka on Twitter, he's literally been doing this for 20 years he taught alex he taught me we taught 30 mods they're teaching 20 junior mods under them this is a full ecosystem of people transforming and changing their own lives passing the elevator back down 
and I just cannot explain how passionate we are about this company and how high we're going to take this. And we love every single one of our members along the way. And I can't wait to get to know any future members of anybody that wants to join and become a member. So guys, if you want to become a member, book a call. I can't wait to talk to you. I can't wait to meet you. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so that's been the ESPN highlight reel. We will do this again next week. I know I'm big energy for you guys just first meeting me. <laughs> just bear with it. I'm always like this. Uh, I've just got a proclivity for excitement, um, and uh, I bring the passion, baby. So I'll see you guys next week. Love you, and uh, I hope you got some value out of this.